welcome back to our channel. How is everybody doing? I missed y'all again. Man, we've been busy around here. Just busy. I'm going to let y'all skim through the house a little bit because I've been in here. I recently painted the whole downstairs. Um, I'm going to get some new furniture put in the family room. Because for, your, for those of you that don't know, we've lived in this house for... Uh, it'll be 16 years in May that we've lived in this house and we haven't done any kind of renovations in the house. Well, first of all, we bought the house brand new. So there really wasn't much to renovate when you buy a house brand new, unless you just got a feature in the house that came with the house that you really didn't like and you wanted to change it. But other than that, we were satisfied with everything that the house came with. So, um, we were able to go because we watched them build the house. So we were able to go down there and pick out like our countertops, the floor, the carpet, blah, 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 all that stuff. So we basically were happy with what we picked out. So, you know, after 16 years, it's wear and tear on stuff. So it was just time to get some new stuff. So that's what we're doing right now. So I recently painted the whole downstairs. Um, well, I haven't done my... I haven't done the bathroom or the laundry room or my bedroom. So that is coming soon. And I'm going to give y'all just a little skim of what's going on in here. So y'all can see that it is a lot going on right now. In addition to all the groceries, that's just all over the place too. Okay, so here's all the groceries. This is Costco. We got Trader Joe's from the pizzas all the way over here. It's Trader Joe's. We got Winco over here. This is Costco, just didn't have no room for the table. So I just want y'all to see the mess. The water bottle busted open when we were bringing it in the house. So this is still more Costco stuff. This is a little bit of everybody's stuff. So here's the other mess that I wanted y'all to see. So here's the, so these are the walls I just painted. This, the color that's on my wall, in case you guys wanna know, is called Natural Beige by Sherman Williams. And here's our wall. There is nothing on the walls anymore. Um, so yeah, that's the fun thing that I've been doing recently. Um, just changing it up for a little bit a little bit i'll show you guys the color the walls used to be in case you don't remember so that is the color that the walls used to be and now i'm changing them to this color it looks a little whitish but depending on the angle of the like over here you can see the color a little bit better where it's like a beigey kind of color it's really like a light light beige so yeah y'all that's what i've been doing so i started upstairs doing so basically the natural beige color is just going to be the mainly the family room, main living room, and then upstairs hallway and the loft. And then the downstairs bathroom and the laundry room, I'm doing it a different color. I'm going to show you guys everything when it's done. And then we are going to have our floors redone. So we're going to get... Um, I'll show you guys. It's, it's I think it looks like hardwood flooring, but it's not hardwood flooring um i'll explain more about it once when the guys get here and start doing their stuff y'all this is our first time doing home renovations and i never knew how stressful it is because i'm like man they they're coming to remove the flooring on april the 3rd which is the day before resurrection sunday so i wanted to make like a nice um resurrection sunday dinner for my family i can't even do that because we're going to be walking around it's going to be nothing but um concrete on the floor so i'll play it by ear and i'll see how it is but i really don't think i'm going to be comfortable with the because it's going to be a mess in here um as you guys can as i as you guys saw the whole family room is just empty i um got rid of the sectional that we had and the entertainment center that used to be over here in the corner. And like I said, this has been a long time coming because that couch was the original couch that we had when we first moved in the house, which is um, 
which is um, 16 years old. So it was time and I'm excited. I already picked out a, a, a new sectional that'll be here after the floors get done. So y'all, it's just been a lot going on. Um, I'm excited about it, but it is still stressful. So um, yeah, so I will quit rambling like I do y'all all the time when I get on this camera, but I like it. I miss y'all. I, I like keeping you guys up to date with what's going on. So yeah, so I just, just want to give you guys a little bit of update of what I've been doing. Um, I'm still waiting on some more of my prizes from the Price is Right. Haven't gotten all of those yet. You guys saw the car in the last video. You got the car. We did get the scooter, so I'll have to do a video and show you guys the scooter. Um, and then we've gotten a couple of other things because pretty much everything I bid it on when I played that game Rat Race, like the portable heater, the garage door opener, and what else? Um... Oh, and the peanuts. They didn't send me the peanuts because they said, obviously, we're not going to send you a bag of peanuts. But those other two items that you saw me bid on, I won those as well. And then, of course, everything that I bidded on in my showcase, I won that too. So as the things come in and as I make videos, I will show you guys everything that I got from um, The Price is Right. But I'm going to go ahead and start showing you guys everything that I got. So the stores that I went to today was basically my staple stores, Costco, Sam's Club, Winco, and Trader Joe's. So we, and Abigail and I went to four stores. Um, our timing was actually pretty good today. We got finished in three hours. So we were kind of happy because sometimes y'all, we are gone all day. So our timing wasn't too bad. So um, we did get some stuff. So I am going to show you guys what all I got. So the first store up is going to be Costco. Okay, you guys. So at Costco, we got, I was out of my OxyClean. So I got a box of OxyClean. I got two bottles of the Downy Unstoppable um, Fabric Softener Pellets. We got Doritos. We got a bag of the tortilla um, chips. We got the tortillas, the uncooked tortillas. We got the Kirkland bacon. You guys know we love this bacon. You know, it's four, pa four packs of bacon in here. So I got two of those. So that's eight. I got the kids some Hebrew National hot dogs. I'm not really a big hot, hot dog fan. I really mainly just get these for like those days where mainly like maybe like on a Friday or a Saturday, I'll ask my husband, hey, uh, honey, can you throw some um, hot dogs and hamburgers on the grill for the kids? So that's mainly when I do the hot dogs. I got a thing of uh, organic maple syrup. Only one thing of strawberries this time. The strawberries at Costco really didn't look that good. So I was like, uh, I'm just gonna get one. So I just got one. Um, got a pack of the Crescent Rolls. There's 40 in here. I got uh, my uh, Chuck Pot Roast that I like to buy. There's actually two roasts in this pack. We got the Cheez-Its. We got... Um, the pepper jack cheese the kids like that on their sandwiches as well as the american slices cheese i also got move this chair back um those downy unstoppables are actually from sam's club i don't know why they're here but i like that scent and they were on sale so i picked up an extra one of those but like i said that's actually from sam's not costco but since it's here i'll show it to you guys and i got the orange juice there's three in those that um, oatmeal back there is also from um, Sam's Club, but you guys know sometimes everything just something always going to be out of place when you got so much stuff. Okay, um, and actually that soap. So actually those Downy Unstoppables, the oatmeal and the two packs of Dove soap, the 16 bars of two pack is actually from Sam's Club as well, but that's okay. We got a thing of sour cream. I got my butter. I didn't need my Kerrygold butter because I still have one in the freezer that's unopened. We got syrup. I was completely out of syrup, you guys. That hardly ever happens. But the last time I went to Costco to get syrup, they didn't have any, which was weird. Um, we got the Nutella. 
these uh, we got Rice Krispie treats. There's actually cookies and cream and birthday cake in this box. This wasn't on the list, but we seen a lady walking around with them in her cart. So me and Abigail went and grabbed a box because they looked good. We got the waffles. You guys know there's 72 waffles in there. We got the popcorn. This is another signature item. The kids make popcorn about I don't know four or five times a week easy they love this popcorn also got picked up some um pirate's booty um uh rice corn puff snacks mainly those are for sophia noel and bud i got my rice and beans you guys know that's a signature item of mine as well we got blueberry muffins the kids like eating these in the morning so there's two of those this was a debate. I wasn't going to get this, but then I decided, no, let me get it because there's sometimes when, um, yeah, so the Annie's macaroni and cheese, you guys, I was not going to get that at first, but then I was like, ah, oh, Kiana, get it. No, should I get it? Should I not get it? Anyway, I ended up getting it. The reason why I debated on not getting it was because last week, Noelle asked me like, y'all, she's so cute. She's getting to that age where now she'll, she'll ask me to make her stuff. And it's like, even, um, so anyway, let me just stay focused. So Noelle asked me, she's like, mom, can you make me some macaroni and cheese? So I was like, sure. Let me go see if I have some Annie's mac and cheese in there. There was none. And I was like, oh man, I really want to make her some macaroni and cheese. So I said, wait a minute, Kiana, you know how to make macaroni and cheese from scratch. Make her some homemade macaroni and cheese. So y'all, I went. I already had regular macaroni and noodles in there. So I got regular macaroni and noodles. I used some of the American um, cheese slices that I just showed you guys. And I used some, some of, the, of this Mexican style um, cheese. Let me tell y'all, I was proud of myself because no, it, even though it wasn't my signature homemade macaroni and cheese with all the different um, with all the other different cheeses that I like to use, it was still a good homemade macaroni and cheese that I whipped up in like, like 20 minutes. Seriously, I whipped it up in like 20 minutes. The only thing is I just didn't put it in the oven, but it still came out good. And I was like, thank you, you could do that all the time when she wants macaroni and cheese. So that's why I was debating on whether or not I was going to do the Annie's because I was like, well, Kiana, you did just make some from scratch last week for ne for noel so you could do that again but then i thought about it and i was like nah because this is just so much easier um that was one of those called improvising days where i just improvised because we didn't have any annie's macaroni and cheese but it's not to say that i still won't make it from scratch you know just a simple easy homemade macaroni and cheese from time to time but for the most part i buy the annie's as just something quick it's not something that i usually use as dinner hi. if that's if, if that's okay to say you saying hi poopa do you want to say hi you saying hi say hi noel i was hi. just talking about you you saying hi okay let mom finish vlogging okay mm -hmm. okay and so yeah so i was like nah kiana just get it because it's in there and it'll be something that if I need to make it, I'll make it. Like this is a box of what, there's 12 in here. This is easily going to last me probably like a couple of months because I'm probably only going to make this maybe once in the month. And I'll use, and usually I make anywhere between three to four boxes. It just depends if the older kids are going to eat some or not. But anyway, I have it just in case. And it was on sale. That was another reason why I just said, Kiana, just get it because it'll be there in case it's just one of those nights where you forgot to take something out and you just need to whip up something really quick this will be it but let me finish y'all okay so i showed you guys so i got the cheese there's two packs in here this is a different granola that i decided to try because the kids are getting burnt out on the other one that i buy i believe that one is like the one with the um it's got the flax seeds in it and a bunch of other stuff. They're kind of getting burnt out on it. So I only bought one bag of this just to let them try it to see how they like it first before I double up on it. I got a five dozen thing of cage-free eggs. Um, we got the honey made graham crackers, Costco. These bananas are Trader Joe's. So I will stick those over there. And I also got the Madeline's. We got... I'm sorry, I'm showing y'all stuff in the box, but this, the water thing busted open, so 
I got two bags of the chicken tenderloins from Costco and I got the crispy extra crispy fries I actually got two bags of those so here's the other bag of those from Costco and they're just still in the box because there's no more room on the table for them we got um two things of the water regular waters and then I got one thing of the of the short the little eight ounce bottles that usually the kids drink and I don't know why but these water bottles busted open at the bottom you guys know these are the waters that I like to drink so I got two of those I also got a thing of paper towels from Costco and a thing of pillow Egg from Costco oh and also um, a crest whitening strip kit from Costco as well. Those uh, strips actually work pretty well, you guys, in case any of you were inquiring about it. They work very well. And that is everything I got from Costco. Okay, and next up is Trader Joe's. Okay, so from Trader Joe's, I got three of the wood fire naples style pizzas i got two bags of the road road corn the chili lime flavored chips you guys know i really like those got bananas only five because there were not big banana eaters in the house for the most part it's just me every now i don't know the kids go back and forth sometimes they like bananas sometimes they don't but i'm on, i only buy a few of them so that way they don't go to waste um i got three boxes of the blueberry waffles there was a time, y'all, that I used to buy like 10 and 12 and 15 of these um, boxes of waffles from Trader Joe's. Well, the kids are burnt out on them now, so I only got three this time to make sure that they finish them. And then maybe I'll get more as we run out. But I kind of burnt them out on these, so I don't buy as many anymore. I also got two of the noodles i use these for like my alfredo even spaghetti just to change spaghetti up i like to use like different noodles i don't know it just, to me it just seems like you're eating something different when you change up the noodles on it even when it's just spaghetti and i got um four of the brioche bread now they changed the brioche bread it used to be in a different packaging but they changed it the the packaging however it's still the same bread so i got uh four of those and i'll stick those in the freezer and i use this these to make french toast in the morning for the kids i got um the roasted garlic marinara sauce from costco i mean from trader joe's as well i'll use this to make my spaghetti and then you know i add in my little doctor it up add in my own little stuff we love the salsa verde from trader joe's so i got that got two bags of apples didn't need oranges we got plenty of oranges in there already um the kids have been wanting to try this cookie butter so we just got one to see if we like it and if they like it on my next grocery haul i'll double up and maybe get two i needed um i have i needed another can of the green chilies i got my pure bourbon vanilla extract i love this vanilla extract from trader joe's i also got my soy yaki and my other island soy yaki this one's got like a pineapple flavoring to it and then this one is just your regular traditional um it's kind of like a teriyaki sauce but it's step it's 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 a, it's a few steps up from your regular um teriyaki sauce i love this in my stir fries both of those um, or as a marinade when I'm making like marinated chicken or whatever, I like using those. So I needed those. Um, Y'all know I like the mandarin orange chicken from Trader Joe's. I got six bags of those. I was completely out of that. And the jasmine rice from Trader Joe's. I got four bags of that from there. And I believe that's everything that I got from Trader Joe's. Okay, and now... Winco, because we did go to Winco, so I'm gonna do Winco next. So here, I'm, I'm just looking, y'all, because I feel like everything is just a hot mess. Um, I just feel like it's not organized, but it's okay, Kiana. It's okay. Okay, so um, yeah, Winco is next. Okay, so for Winco, I got pick this up off the floor. 
So from Winco, I got two boxes. Normally we get our chips from um, Trader, I mean from Winco. I mean not Winco, this is Winco. Normally I get the kids chips from Sam's Club, but this time we just saw they had different variety bat boxes. So we ended up just going with these from Winco. So I got this one and this one, which is a total of, um, which is cool because it's a total of 56 bags of chips, which means I'm getting like six more bags because I think the most you can get from the ones we buy at Sam's Club is 50. So wasn't a bad deal. I got, um, y'all know we love the cran mango. I got six of these. Um, we already had five outside. So I stocked up because it's every time, it's a lot of times when we go, they're out of it. So I like to stock up on it when I do see it there. Um, so I got six of those. I got, you guys know, this is a staple cleaning product of mine, the scrub free. I love to use this in the bathrooms, especially in my shower. If any of you guys have like a glass shower, this stuff works really well in the shower and the kids use it in their bathroom as well. I mainly like to use it like in my shower, not so much in the sink and stuff, but in my shower, this works really good. I got my Bob's Red Mill all-purpose flour. They didn't have the pink one. I normally buy the pink one, but they didn't have the pink one. But um, this is the one that I started out using when I first started buying it. So, I mean, this one's still good. It's, it says it, it's good for cookies, cakes, biscuits, breads. And that's what mainly what I'm going to use it mainly for is for my cakes. I buy regular, um, like that Pillsbury flour for like when I'm frying foods. But for this, my Bob's Red Mill flour is just strictly for baking only. I got um, six cans of the classical creamy Alfredo. I usually buy my Alfredo sauce from um, Trader Joe's, but I wanted to change it up a bit. So I decided to try, I've tried this one before. So I just got this one from um, Winco. Abigail wanted to try these. So I don't know when they make their smoothies, coffees, whatever they make and they got it and they'll use that for that. Uh, I got a thing of peanut butter, um, got a thing of uh, gloves. These are mainly for us girls when we wash the dishes. I got two boxes of the Crystal Light Peach Mango Green Tea. I really like this and it's been a while since I've had any of that. So I decided to get me some this time. And I also got some um, tostada shells and soft tortilla shells. I got two of those. And two of those from Winco because the kids are going to be making um, Crunchwrap Supreme sometime this week. So that is everything, I believe, from Winco. Okay, and now here's everything that I got from Sam's Club. So it was a little bit of an intermission. We normally, after I finish vlogging a certain store, the kids will start putting this stuff up. So that's what we did. And then I went outside and put up some stuff outside. I'm going to take you guys out there too so I can show you guys um, where I keep extra storage because this is something that I just recently did and like like uh, two weeks ago I just did this. So let me show you what I got from Sam's Club. Okay, so from Sam's Club I got thing of grapes. We got some peanut butter crackers for the kids. Box of French toast sticks. The Greek yogurt. Cookie dough. You guys know this is a staple item. We always get the cookie dough. I got my beef um, smoked sausages. I believe there's, oh, I thought there was only three, but there's four in here. Got our toilet tissue, got uh, ground turkey. There's two packs in here and these are big packs. So I got four of those. Uh, I don't know, Abigail asked for these normally. Uh, yeah, so Abigail asked for these. So I got these for the kids. We got some Tostino pizza rolls. We got the cinnamon rolls. There's four cans in here. This was missed, but it's some white distilled vinegar that I use when I, um, to clean my chicken, I use the white distilled vinegar. We got the fruit snacks for the kids. They really like this brand of fruit snacks. We used to buy the Welch's ones from Costco, but they don't like those no more. They like these ones better. So I got one box of those. I got two things of paper plates. We got the uh, Tostito uh, cheese sauce. The kids use these when we make our um, crunch wrap Supremes. I also got a thing of raw shrimp for shrimp and grits. And I also got a thing of pretzel crisp. And that is everything that we got from.
Sam's Club. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys the little added storage thing that I did for the house in the garage. So I added this little storage shelf. We already have some on the other side, but that was mainly just for like garage stuff. Like, you know, just like um, car cleaning stuff, just tools. So this one is just strictly just designated for my food. So I got basically the bottom one is just for like my toilet tissue, cleaning stuff. Like I got my hand soap. This is um, Purell hand soap that my husband was able to get blessed with from his job. Then this one is where I keep the waters because before I was keeping the waters underneath the desk in my kitchen. So now I don't have to do that anymore. Um, and so up here, move this over here, just where I keep just some of my other stuff. So that's like my Lysol bleach. Um, and I actually thought I needed bleach, but I don't because I got some. And then up here, you guys, is where I keep all of my little stuff that I don't use that much. Those dishes, I'm going to take out the old dishes that I have in there and I'm gonna replace them with those. I actually bought those about two months ago from Costco. They were having a sale and I just haven't, haven't gotten around to transferring them over into my cabinet yet. And then that's really, you guys just it. So here's where I keep all the creme mango. These are um, the premier. Oh, these are the premier um, protein shakes. I can't get it out of there, but that's the premier protein shakes. I believe that's vanilla. And then we got the muscle milk protein shake as well in milk chocolate. And so this is just, so like I say, it's just added storage and I'm glad that I got this it. This is a result of my pantry being so small is I have to, um, you know, make added storage outside in the garage, which is not so bad. Um, it works, but it would have been nice just to have everything inside of the house. But anyway, y'all, I think I'm going to go on and end the vlog here because I'm hanging out with my daughter uh, this evening. We're going to go just have some mother and daughter fun. Thank you guys for being so supportive of my video and a shout out to Chris. Um, sorry, Chris, I can't think of your last name. It's like it's right there on the tip of my tongue and I can't think of it. But Chris, you know who you are. You... Um, you recently gave emailed me and gave me some information about um vacuum cleaner uh filters that that I needed. So, I just want to say thank you so much for that. Um I I ordered them and I'm good to go. So, I really appreciate you reaching out to me and helping me get those vacuum cleaner bags that I needed and I love all of you guys. Thank you guys for all the beautiful comments and just all the congratulations and the well wishes on my uh, appearance on the Price is Right show. But I'm going to go on and end it here. I love you guys. And remember, you are fearfully and wonderfully made and everything else the word of God says you are. Have a blessed day. Bye.